Hello and welcome to this practice exam conducted by British American Resource Center. My name is Maruf and I'm your practice examiner. These questions are designed to simulate the R speaking test. So let's begin. Okay. What is your full name? My full name is Nehal Mahmood Khan. And what should I call you? You can call me Nehal. At the beginning of the IELTS test, you will be required to provide a passport or an ID, but as this is just a practice exam, you don't need to provide any ID or passport. Now in the first part of the test, I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself. Do you prefer working alone or in a team? Actually, I prefer working in a team, although it depends on the particular project, but mostly I prefer working in a team because, well, as any task is complicated or relatively more complex, working in a team will help me to get to the target. So yes, I, I prefer working in a team. And how often do you work in a team? Quite often. Actually, I have to work on a team frequently. So currently I'm working as a part-time content editor. So I'm part of the content team. Okay. Apart from that, I'm also working to get a paper published on a journal. So even there I'm working on a team. So I have to work on a team on a regular basis. What are some benefits of teamwork? Okay. So there are two benefits. Number one is the, actually there are a lot of benefits, but the two that I'm going to focus on more. Number one is the idea generation, right? There are different people in a team and say we want to develop something, an app or mm -hmm. anything. So there are different people and they will put their own idea forward. So there is the aspect of idea generation. And apart from that, there's the problem solving angle. Let's say we face a problem in the team now. There are 10 members in a team. Mm -hmm. Each of them put forward their idea to mm -hmm. solve a problem. Mm -hmm. So even in problem solving, this teamwork will help a lot. Right. And what are some challenges ah, of teamwork? Okay. Uh, when, I, when it comes to challenges, obviously there is the obvious conflict of ideas. Different mm -hmm. members, different, mm -hmm. each of them have their own point of view, right? Mm -hmm. So yes, there is the issue regarding conflict of ideas. And apart from that, sometimes there is the issue of consistency as well. Yes. See, there, if there are like 15 members in a team, not everyone is going to perform the same mm. or properly every day. So yes, there is the issue of consistency and persistence. Okay. So how do you deal with the conflicts? Well, first of all, I have to go to the root of that. Yeah? Mm. Let's say an individual is pestering or, you know, causing a lot of problem. Now, before targeting or doing anything, let, let me just think from the from his point of view that mm -hmm. wha, what is the main factor behind that, right? Mm -hmm. And then go to the root of that and try to solve it. You know, just analyze it and mm -hmm. give a solution. How can I? Uh, what will you know solve his problem, right? Mm -hmm. So that is one thing. And if I see that the team member is like you know can, without uh, like even in, despite making changes, it's still you know, disturbing or may creating a lot of challenges, then, well, I think it's time to relieve him of his duties, yeah. So that, <laughs> that is one way to deal with it, yeah, thinking it from their point of view. Right. What skills are important for teamwork? Okay, so there is the obvious communication. You have to communicate with your team, team right. members, right? Apart from that, there is the uh, issue of persistency and the knowledge of the particular skill. Let's say you are are uh, working on an engineering project, a civil engineering project. Obviously, you have to know about particular engineering aspects and right. how to design something, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, there, there, there's the technical skills. And apart mm -hmm. from that, you need to be aware about time management, mm -hmm. discipline, and all that. But I believe listening is also very important. So like each member of the team would want to be heard. So mm -hmm. yes, uh, it is important that everyone have listening skills as well. What are some advantages or disadvantages of working in a multicultural team? Well, the advantage is that you have a different point of view and different way of getting things done. Right? Let's say we have a Japanese or mm. an American team, right? Mm. Obviously, the work ethic in two different in these countries are very different from each other. Mm -hmm. So that is one aspect. Like, mm -hmm. uh, let's say an American wants to get things done very quickly, mm -hmm. right? And Japanese one maybe a bit more, wants to take a bit more time. So there is the different way of dealing with problem or a, so a condition, right? Mm. Well, in terms of disadvantage, again, this one, this diversity. Let's mm. say like an American doesn't like the way how Japanese people work. So there can be conflict, right? Mm -hmm. So yes, this is a kind of problem that might happen in a multicultural team. I believe that. 
Okay. This is the end of part one. Let's okay. move on to part two. Okay. Um, in this part, I'm going to give you a topic and you have to talk about it for one or two minutes. Sure. Before you talk, you have one minute to think about what you're going to say. You can take notes if you wish. Here's the paper okay. and the pencil. Thank and you. This is your topic. Okay. I'd like you to describe a time when you worked in a team. Mm -hmm. And from now, your time starts. Okay. Okay. Are you done? Yes. Remember, you have one or two minutes for this, so don't worry if I stop you. Would you like to start now? Yes, I would like to start now. Please. Yeah. Okay, so I recently worked in a team that was the content team for a startup company, mm -hmm. right? And so the, the task was to create different types of content for different websites related mm -hmm. to, say, uh, automobile or kitchen or, mm -hmm. or tourism, right? Mm -hmm. And in that team, there were content developers or content writers who would write the content. And then there was the content editor who mm -hmm. would, you know, oversee the content and then edit the information. Mm -hmm. And above them was the content manager, right? That, so that was part of the content team. Mm -hmm. Now, my job was that of a content editor. Mm -hmm. Content editor as in like... Let's say a content developer would write an information or a content. Now my job was to check that, check that information and see if it meets the proper standards or mm -hmm. the requirements of our client, right? Or if the grammar is correct or not, how the sentence is being structured, things like that, you know, basic stuff. But nevertheless, it's very important because I have to make sure that it meets the right standards so that, you know, whenever it, uh, our clients would publish those in their website, it would help them rank, help the website rank. So yes, that was my task to make sure that it meets the right standards. Kind of like the quality team in, mm -hmm. in a company or something like that, right? And um, well, uh, so the team actually worked in this way. I think I kind of gave a hint of how the team works. So it kind of works in this way. There was the content developer whose job was to scour through the website mm -hmm. and make a structure and then write uh, on the basis, on the right tone, accurate information mm. and exactly on on the you know in on the requirements of our client mm. and then there was the editor who would you know check whether it meets the exact standards or not and you know suggest any particular changes and um, after that there was the content manager obviously who managed and oversaw the whole operation and made sure that the content meets the exact standard so mm. yes that was how the team was being made okay how did you divide the work among the team members? Okay, so this, uh, it, it was divided based on what the individual team member was comfortable with and their skill set. So uh, let's say someone is comfortable working with automobile, right? We would mm -hmm. comfortable, we would give them contents related to that automobile mm -hmm. or go kart mm -hmm. or, you know, technical mm -hmm. topic. Or if someone is comfortable working with tourism, we gave them tourism related website mm -hmm. work. So. Yes, that, that was what they were comfortable with and their skill set. How good are they? I mean, let's uh, this technical related contest, they're a bit more challenging. Mm -hmm. So we gave technical related content to people who, uh, who are relatively better at researching mm -hmm. and writing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so skill set and what they were comfortable with. That's how the task was divided. And what difficulties or challenges did the team face? Okay, so obviously there was the issue rela related to motivation. Obviously, you mm. uh, not, not every day mm. there is the same motivation to get mm. things done, right? Mm. Motivation and there was the consistency issue re as well. Sometimes people, <laughs> despite reading the instruction, made the same mistake over and over again. So there was that issue and 
Unfortunately, there was sometimes occasionally there was the issue of time management as well. Like mm. we made a target, but it, there were a bit of challenges in you know meeting that target. But overall, uh, those problems were solved. Okay, and so how did you evaluate the team's performance or outcome? Okay, uh, based obviously there is the result. How are they meeting the goal? Are they meeting mm. the standard? And how motivated are they? There, that is also the, uh, a good factor, and their dedication to the goal, right? Mm. Like, let's say someone makes a mistake once or twice. Okay, that is I can put that aside. It happens to everyone, right? Same mistake ten times. Well, maybe he's not. He doesn't even care. So mm. obviously, based on that, the evalu- evaluation was done. Does he care about the goal? Does he want to work properly? And how much effort is he putting in? Obviously. Mm. their and result. what did you learn from the team experience okay uh the definitely time management is an important factor you have to set a target but setting a target is not enough you have to make sure that the target is being met right mm. and do everything possible to meet that target but apart from that you need to have some filler days or weeks what does that mean that means that let's say you target of two contents per day for any reason you may not reach that target but we need a extra day to allocate that mm. right so that that target is being met so there is that issue and uh how to motivate like in case uh an individual doesn't want mm-hmm. to work properly or has a have have certain challenges how to motivate to get them and how did you celebrate the team success okay uh by rewarding of course by rewarding them whenever our target was met not just target i mean like when things mm. even the basic things were done you know occasionally mm. rewarding motivating them and obviously appreciating their contribution mm. i think this is very important because if if an individual feels heard or you know appreciated enough then it will help them to give even more for the team yes okay thank you very much this is the end of part 2 ah. may I have the pencil and the paper please? absolutely so thank you thank you this one sure thank you So let's move on to part 3 and I have several questions for you. Okay. How important is teamwork in different fields of work or study? This is the most important. Yeah, you know, without teamwork regardless of what the topic is, whether right. it's medical industry or mm. building rockets, mm. you need teamwork. You mm. need people from different background and mm. skill set to work together. to give ideas and to solve problems together mm-hmm. right that's what the team work mm-hmm. is about right to solve problems so yes i think without team work you cannot solve problem properly and you cannot invent or innovate mm-hmm. anything so yeah how does team work foster creativity or innovation so there's this very interesting article i read a while back this while preparing for ilts <laughs> of course <laughs> Uh this was regarding uh the myth or the paradox of scientific innovation. A lot of people think that scientific innovation is a one man show like a scientist a scientist would have a eureka moment and just you know discover something but that's not true actually. You know behind the scene there are a lot more other people and there is assistant or perhaps another colleague or another scientist from another country or time mm. perhaps. Like these ideas keep you know uh keep being generated and this help to give them a ground right. for more discovery so i think this is very important for innovation and creativity yeah right awesome how can teamwork skills be developed or improved okay uh there is the factor of example the mm-hmm. better example like uh for example if i'm in an environment full of excellent scientists right i would aspire to be one I will get influenced by the way they are working and the way they are uh, they are developing their skills so that will uh, help me to get better and develop my own skills mm-hmm. if i'm in a room full of uh, amazing guitarists or something i would want to be want to play guitar become a really good guitarist so this is a factor of inf- getting properly influenced yeah how does teamwork affect the performance or productivity of an organization okay Look, if the teamwork is not good enough, I mean if the output is not going properly, obviously mm. the company is not going to do well. It, mm. it is as simple as that, right? Mm. Company, what is a company? Company is basically a, you know, a, a conglomeration of different teams. Mm. If the teams are not performing uh, properly, then how is the company supposed to pro- perform right. properly? Right. Right. 
if the team meets their goal properly the company is going to meet their goal properly whether it is the quality team or the sales team or the marketing team or the engineering team right if they meet their goal properly the company is going to meet their goal properly how does teamwork influence the culture or values of a society okay uh it depends on different factors but a uh, cultural values like teamwork helps them to you know put different ideas forward mm-hmm. or if there is anything new or innovative then then teamwork helps to you know put that idea forward right mm-hmm. and if say if there is any challenge to the value of of an organization or a culture right mm-hmm. teamwork will help to you know face that and solve mm-hmm. that yeah okay So the last question is how can teamwork and innovation contribute to solving global problems okay let me give an example a very recent one okay let me give you the example of covid-19 we all know we all suffered through that so but here's the thing it was the modern day plague but how did we solve so quickly within a year or two now 3 years from that and we are already living normal life pre covid mm-hmm. level how is that team building that's the simple answer whether developing vaccine or getting them delivered to the hospital or mass rollout everything was the result of teamwork team they got together they had a common goal defeating covid they brainstorm ideas together right, right. came to the best solution yeah. trial and error uh-huh. there was peer review and all that and that helped to you know solve this big problem the common enemy thank you thank you very much this You're is welcome. the end of the speaking test thank you for joining us you're welcome